In this video I open another box of tools from Japan. The first couple of minutes is mostly me getting frustrated with the help that I was getting from the family. But then we get into the good stuff. So, hope you enjoy. I am so ex- Sarah, mm -hmm. you're really short. I'm really excited about this box. This is the coolest box I've got. So the stuff that in here, in, in here is awesome. But I'll just adjust this camera. Right, how's that? Good. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> That's much better. Right, now I can raise this. I don't have to squat. That's great. That's a perfect height for you. Cool, excellent backdrop with all the washing and stuff, but whatever. We don't get on <laughs> yeah, do you know why that is? Because I'm short. Sure. That's because you're short, sure. that's right. So, Arlen, you're joining us as well. <laughs> and Alicia, yeah, I don't think you've done one of these with me before. You can't lie on the box. Off it, come on, off the box. Uh, 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 no. On the, the tape, not the cardboard. Stop! Oh, don't cut the cardboard, just the tape, just the tape. Still cutting the cardboard. Process and precision, you have to dive in. Yeah, you can. What's that? I don't know. I know what that is. Is that a compass? No, it's a dive caliper. That's cool. How about this heavy one? I know, I know what this is. Yeah, they're boring the blades. They're not boring! Whoa, hang on, hang on, no! What do you mean, no? They're blades! Yeah, but they're rip blades! Not cross cut. Daddy, have a look at you. What you're running. Right. Oh, what okay. you can scrape, scrape, cool. Don't touch that. <laughs> that, that oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! When you bang the Let edges together, together you can bad. ruin the edge. Sorry. You can chip them. Yep. Cool. Stop. Hey, right. stop. What do you mean? We gotta look at this. I have. They're Things. <laughs> Blacksmith made all these cool details, which I'll get some deep, some good close-ups of. Uh, Mommy, if I these were European, one. I'd call them a scorp. Hello. Or... <laughs> just, just be patient, Stuart. Be patient. Yeah, we'll be going soon. You ask. Okay. Tell you what, this is what we're gonna do. Family is going to help me open the box, and then you and I, we're going to go through <laughs> things carefully, and then we can talk about how cool these tools are, where they can just go, oh, that's pretty, and thanks, you'll see you later, Dad. I can think of a bunch of things that these would be useful for, but I'm not sure what they were made to be used for in Japan, particularly because of the shape of the handles. Like, it'd be very difficult to use these for bowl carving, because, well, how do you get in, I guess it's a small bowl, and you're getting inside the bowl, but anything that's sort of any size, the handle's going to be, this has sort of got to go in, and then the handle's going to be confounding things a bit. But actually, no, maybe a small, maybe small bowls, that could work. Yeah, I reckon that could work. Cool. But this, this is, I guess, this is smaller again. Yeah, but this one, this has got me stumped. I think it's only the curved bits that are meant to be sharpened, not the entire thing, but I could be wrong. Maybe the entire length was meant to be sharpened and it would give sort of a corrugated finish. But I'm wondering if that's for dressing off the stalks of bamboo to, you know, to clean it up prior to use. I really don't know, so if anyone's got an idea, please let me know. And if you've got a guess, well, stick that in the comments. Sarah is currently opening one of the coolest of the cool things that is in this box. Not the coolest, but one of the coolest of the cool things. Arlen, I'll lift your nose. <laughs> okay, we should have the rule that's like Christmas. Only one person opening one thing at a time. How did it open that? <laughs> Wow. Here we have a beautiful pair of Japanese shipbuilding axes. Uh, 
I don't know how old these all are, but they're you know pretty old. You can obviously see that they're handmade. There's a forge weld there uh, on the side of the bit, and you can see the the mild steel goes down the center of the bit with the the tool steel wrapping around. You're probably familiar with the bear claw decoration on Japanese axes. Well. This teardrop decoration seems to be something that the shipbuilding axes share in common. I don't know why, I don't know what the story is behind that. So if anyone does know, I'd really love to um, you to tell me. But a beautiful pair of axes. Now I'm not sure if they're a set. Uh, obviously there's some slight differences. This has got a much sort of straighter bit. This is more curved and that results in a different angle. But I'm just just learning about these tools I haven't I'm just getting started because I've been really enjoying Douglas Brooks book on Japanese boat building it's just um, it's just a fabulous read uh, it's not a how-to book by any means it's very much an, an overview an introduction um, but I'm really really enjoying it for a whole host of reasons from the little insights into the different techniques and tools but also just the insight into the the mind and attitude of the Japanese boat builders. So yeah, really, really cool pair of tools and a really cool book. Now this is the coolest of cool packages. Now you're gonna open this with reverence and love. Oh, that wasn't reverence and it certainly wasn't love. You just ripped it open. Now look at that. Now, turn it over. Oh, that's so cool. That's not just so, it's beautiful. Okay, it's beautiful. Right, you're not getting one for Christmas now. Yeah, That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Probably just as well. <laughs> All right, you can go away now. <laughs> Just gorgeous. Yeah, this is this is the duck's guts. Handmade, laminated steel. Like you're running your finger, I can feel the forge weld. Just there. And it's just such a beautiful work of art. And uh, yeah. It's an 80 mon hammer, which is around uh, close to 300 grams, but not quite. But I think that's a keeper. Or well, at least I'm going to stick it on my eBay store in the do please do not buy section. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. I've been hanging out for that hammer for ages, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait until I finish this workshop before I can use it. So most of the videos coming up on this channel will be I'm on the workshop build, uh, but there will still be the unboxing videos as they come in, and also... If there's anything that you're after from Japan, uh, check out what I've got available right now in my eBay store. But if there's something in particular that you want me to get for you, then I can offer pretty big discounts for people who order ahead of time. And in light of that, I'm currently talking with a blacksmith workshop in Japan about doing a order for a whole stack of their new tools, uh, in particular the chisels. So if you want to be part of that order, I can give a very big discount to anyone who orders ahead of time. As if you wait until it turns up, then, well, you have to pay full price. So hang out for that. There'll be a video announcing that order and that deal coming up. Uh, in the meantime, have fun, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>